Hey guys, it's Jeff and it's going to be a super short video today, but we're going to take a look at iOS 14 and the possible new widget feature that we might be seeing later in June when iOS 14 betas are finally released. So let's see exactly what widgets in iOS and iPadOS would look like and also take a look at what the functions of these widgets would be. Now, before we get started though, if you're excited for iOS 14, definitely get subscribed and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss out on any future iOS 14 content. There's obviously going to be a ton of that in just a few weeks. Okay, so back to iOS 14 widgets, and we've actually seen quite a few references to widgets coming in iOS, both in iOS 14 code and also product manuals that Apple had been approving a few months back. Just in case you didn't see those product manuals, they were actually for the upcoming iPhone 12 devices. And not only did they point out a lot of the hardware changes that we expect to see later this fall in the iPhone 12, but they also revealed this new widget feature within iOS 14, which would assumably be the next version of iOS. Now, to put this manual into a real life perspective, here are some videos made by Alexi over on Dribble. I'll have the links to these videos and his profile in the links down below, but yeah, this is his work, and these are the best widget examples that I've seen to date for iOS 14. Now, obviously, you can see that we have the weather widget on the home screen, which looks super awesome, but I think the home screen widgets are what really do it for me. If you take a look at this design, you can clearly see that things are working quite smoothly, and you can actually customize the look of these widgets quite a bit via some controls on the home screen. Now, another thing that I noticed is that this render does have more of a focus on moving widgets around freely on your home screen, so the need for a dedicated widget page might not be there if you can expand and minimize widgets as easily as you see it done in this specific video. So guys, after taking a look at some of these renders and videos of iOS 14 widgets, do you think widgets will be useful or even a good feature to have in iOS 14? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, before you go, I wanted to show you all some other possibilities here of new features in iOS 14. These videos are by the same creator and he's showing things like split screen designs and even multitasking docs showing up on the right hand side. There's obviously a lot going on here and I'd love to know from you if these features would be cool or lame to see in iOS 14. Also check out all of the links down below for this awesome creator. He does a fantastic job. Just want to give him the proper credit. Anyways, guys, just wanted to show you all of what widgets might look like in the upcoming iOS 14 release and some other cool features as well. If you have anything you want to say about today's video or any other content, definitely leave those comments down in the comment section down below. If you want to stay up to date with any future iOS 14 content or other product reviews, definitely get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to stay up to date on when that content is released. So guys, thank you all for watching and until I see you in some upcoming content, I hope you all have an awesome day. Really quick message guys, so sorry that I haven't been creating content. I had a bit of an accident over the weekend and I have some burns on my hands. So I haven't been able to use my computer and everything freely operating camera equipment isn't that great. So bear with me, I have some content coming for you guys and I'll definitely get back to it as soon as possible, starting with today's video. So hopefully this goes well and hopefully I can get out some other content this week and over the weekend. Definitely stay tuned for the live stream on Friday. I should be able to do that live stream freely um, on Friday afternoon. So again, guys, thank you for all of your support. I'll catch you in the next one.